Welcome back you guys! Like I teased in a few places, I am checking out this Koala Holographic Printable Vinyl Sticker Paper. Real quick, I do want to note that this is waterproof printable vinyl sticker, so that's really good. And also, don't forget that your printer has to use dye-based ink, alright? Keep that in mind. If you'll take a close look, it does have a really deep kind of grayish, uh, bluish tint to it. It's very flexible. I don't know the weight of this, but when it's flexible, that means it's good because it won't clog up your printer. Um, stickiness level here that I'm testing, um, because it's nice and thin, comes off easily, and it sticks really, really well. So that's a good sign. As usual, I am using my Canon Pixma IX. 6820 printer it's a large format printer and i'm going to be printing directly from photoshop as always um my printer comes with a ton of different glossy photo paper settings so i'm just going to choose i don't know one of the random ones it has i've noticed there's not much of a difference um but yeah and then if you take a quick look you can see that uh, most of the text is black but i did also print out red blue yellow and green the reason i'm doing that is to test out how well color shows up on this holographic paper because of the fact that it's got like a gray tint to it um it looks pretty good nice and bold but i mean come on that could also be my amazing printer <laughs> Next up, I'm looking to see if any of the ink kind of bled, um, but nice and close up, we can see that it's actually really, uh, really nice and crisp. So that's good. Um, and yellow looks a little weird, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to be doing a touch test and smudge test as usual. You guys know that when my paper comes fresh out of the printer, I check the ink to make sure uh, that none of the colors are bleeding. And um, honestly, so far, so good. So that just means that I'm using the correct ink with this paper. Now, the little project I'm doing are these super simple DIY Valentine's Day cards for my kiddo. I will be including some stickers in with the little cards. Um, I didn't have much time to do much for, you know, for this project. However, I wanted to use this to cut out my son's name and stick it to the back of the little cards. That way, it kind of adds a little bit of pizzazz. Um, I didn't want it to be super, super boring. Um, and then it turns out that his whole name um, is too long to fit on this little card. So we're just going to use his first name. Um, but the good news with this is that because the, pip the sticker paper is nice and thin without being too thin to where it's tearing, um, it's pretty simple to like knock this out. You know, you, you guys know how sticker paper can be trying to like separate it from its backing. It can be a real pain in the butt. Um, but this came out really, really well. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these little four by four self sealing clear bags that I got from Amazon. Um, I do sell stickers, uh, sticker packs on my website, so that's why I have these. I'm going to stick the little Valentine's Day card, drop in a little cute sticker, and then um, on the back, like I said, it's got his name on there, so it adds, you know, that, that cute little pizzazz to it. And really, that's all I did. Um, again, you know, kids like holographic stuff, right? So that's why I wanted to use this. Um, again, it's got this gray tint to it. It's got a ton of cool sparkles to it. I will say I'm not too used to um, using holographic paper that has a gray tint to it. I actually use this clear stuff. Um, I got it off of Amazon, but I hate how thick that holographic paper is. I hate it. So this... Um, this koala holographic paper honestly i'm gonna have to just maybe play around with it to see how my logo colors would show up on it but yeah um we'll see so what do you guys think would you use this holographic paper do you think you'll get it i think the kids will love it so let me know what you guys think and i will see y'all in the next video bye you guys